Uh, good morning, dear friends and regular learners. This is N. K. Bhatt once again with you with the Noodle Lecture. Hope you all are doing well in this period of lockdown. In this Noodle Lecture, we will learn about the compound microscope, how the image is formed by the compound microscope, and what is the design of compound microscope. Angular magnification produced by the compound microscope. I believe that you all are doing your best learning through this video lecture series. Don't forget to share, subscribe, and like this channel. Don't forget to press the bell icon button so that you get the notification of every new video lecture. Keep watching, keep learning. So, dear learners. In this new video lectures, we will discuss about the compound microscope. The compound microscope comprises of two coaxial convex lenses. One is object lens, another one is eye lens. The focal length of eye lens is greater than focal length of object lens, and the very important part is this eye lens acts as a simple microscope so as we know that there are two cases of image formation for simple microscope so as it is we will have two cases of image formation for compound microscope as well so let us begin with this image formation when image is formed at d so this is the object lens and another one is eye lens this is the common principal axis for both the lenses odish is optical center for eye lens and o is optical center for object lens this is the focus of eye lens and the equal distance will take on the other side also let this is the focus of object lens so when we talk about image formed at d this is the object ab placed close to the focus in the ray parallel to principal axis we will pass through the focus after refraction another ray passing to the optical center we will go straight this is the image a dish b dish when this image is formed between focus and optical center of eye lens again we will consider two rays one is parallel to principal axis another one is passing through the optical center if we produce them then definitely they will intersect at some point and there the final image is formed a double dash p double dash now we have to find out angle subtended by object also so cut an arc p double dash c equal to the size of object and join join this 
टू दी ऑप्टिकल सेंटर सो इन दैट वे यू विल गेट एंगल मेड बाय ऑब्जेक्ट एंड एंगल मेड बाय इमेज आल्सो सो दिस इज द रे डायग्राम ऑफ इमेज फोन बाय कंपाउंड माइक्रोस्कोप व्हेन इमेज इज फॉर्मड एट डी नाउ इट्स टर्न फॉर फाइंडिंग the angular magnification produced by the compound microscope so angular magnification is given by m is equal to theta i upon theta o what is theta i here angle made by image formed at d that image is a double dash b double dash and uh, angle made by object placed at c and seen directly that is a double dash c so how to find theta i you will use tan theta i is equal to a double dash b double dash upon a double dash o dash for a small angle this is given by theta i so theta i is equal to a double dash b double dash upon a double dash o dash likewise we can have tan theta o tan theta o is a double dash c upon a double dash o dash so theta o is equal to a double dash c upon a double dash o dash a double dash c is equal to a b so it comes to theta o is equal to a b upon a double dash o dash if you replace them in equation 1 then equation 1 will give us m is equal to a double dash b double dash upon a double dash o dash upon a b upon a double dash o dash if you simplify this you will have a double dash b double dash upon a double dash o dash into a double dash dash upon a b so that comes to a double dash b double dash upon a b this is what the size ratio of size of final image to the size of object we can write this in some other way also a double dash b double dash upon a dash b dash into a dash b dash upon a b so the first term is what it is m o and this is m e and m o so m e into m o what we can write for m e m e can be written as v e upon u e and m o would be v u upon u <coughs> if we use lens equation
four islands then one upon f e is equal to one upon v e minus one upon u e so you can have one upon u e is equal to one upon v e minus one upon f e then m is equal to v e into one upon v e minus one upon f e into v upon u if you open the bracket you will get one minus v e upon f e into v u upon u o v e is equal to minus d so it comes to 1 plus d upon f e into v upon u o so this is the angular magnification produced by compound microscope when the image is formed at d i hope you have understood this concept of compound microscope how to draw the ray diagram when image is formed at d and how to find the angular magnification thanks for watching this video please like share and subscribe this channel so that more number of people learners can learn through this video lecture don't forget to press the bell icon button for getting the notification of every new video lecture thanks for being with us keep watching keep learning we will meet soon in the next video lecture thank you very much